Hello and welcome to another episode of the Football History Boys React. Now today we're going to be reacting to one of football history's most infamous games. It is the Battle of Santiago from 1962. Played between Chile and Italy in front of a partisan crowd. It was a game which really showcased football at its worst, I imagine. Um, hosts Chile were infuriated by the Italian press who had... Uh, been critical of the awarding of the World Cup to Chile, saying it wasn't ready, not fit enough to be hosts. Um, and so the game started, and let's see what happens. Good evening. The game you're about to see is the most stupid, appalling, disgusting and disgraceful exhibition of football possibly in the history of the game. Chile versus Italy. This is the first time the two countries have met. We hope it will be the last. <laughs> the national motto of Chile reads by reason or by force. Today, the Chileans were prepared to be reasonable. The Italians only use force. And the result was a disaster for the World Cup. Now, if the World Cup is going to survive in its present form, something's got to be done about teams that play like this. Indeed, after seeing the film tonight, you at home may well think that teams that play in this manner ought to be expelled immediately from the competition. Just see what you think. So that there was David Coleman, a famous BBC commentator from the 1960s. That's a now incredibly famous rant from the start of the game. Uh, it shows just how cross he was with what he saw. The 1962 World Cup had already seen a few moments of, uh, of controversy, but this one was definitely the worst. Um, Chile and Italy, like we said before, there was this growing animosity due to the fact that the Italian press have been so negative towards Chile. Uh, but as he said there, if football could, continues like this, it might not survive. The World Cup might not survive. Now just remember, this is only the, I think, only the sixth World Cup of all time. So it's quite still uh, a tournament in its infancy. And it doesn't need things like this to, to hamper it. However, it's great to watch, so let's put it on. Oh. <laughs> Terrible tackles already. A little kick out there as well. Another kick out. And there's trouble already. There's a point the going on in the He's middle there. Well, this looks like turning into a real Think battle. There's two Chileans down the field. On the back of his shirt. And what a scene after just five minutes play. Five minutes in and we've already got a fight. Brilliant. Another kick out. And Perini took a kick at a player there. Well, this is absolutely ridiculous. Perini took an open kick at the, a player who's nowhere near the ball and oh, he's, he's being sent right off he's fuming and the police are being called <laughs> on or the army the police in fact well, As you can see there there's a lot of policemen trying to shepherd uh, Farini off the pitch now this is I think in the first 10 minutes of the game he's kicked out it's not the first kick out we've seen but he's kicked out and referee Ken Ashton who is an English referee has sent him off uh, it took him 10 minutes to leave the pitch and as you see a lot of policemen as well to, to remove him such was the animosity such was the anger and the hatred of these players um, but it just shows 10 minutes in and it's already descended into a bit of a farce it's no surprise that Ken Ashton the referee was the man who would later invent red and yellow cards um, at this stage there was no such thing as red or yellow cards if you but you could be put in the book or you could be sent off uh, and this is what's happened here one of the sorriest and most stupid, incredible spectacles I've ever seen <laughs> anywhere in the world. Content, Lionel Sanchez. Oh, few kicks again. <laughs> and there we go again. That was one of the neatest left hooks I've ever seen. Neatest well, left hook he's ever seen. Absolutely out cold. Did a bit of the Luis Suarez there. He's punched him in the face and then he's. He slipped off as well himself, like, oh, I'm innocent. And incredibly, he wasn't sent off for that. Um, I think his name is Lionel Sanchez. Uh, not sent off. Um, you'll see the defender at his punch is not happy, uh, Mario David, and you'll see what he does in a minute to get his revenge. And there, <laughs> there it is. Oh, that was one of the worst tackles I think I've ever seen. Sanchez bought it right in the face. Partner. That was David, and he's off the field. And the red card. Well, Italy down to nine men. Well, that was one of the most cold-blooded and lethal tackles I think I've ever seen. And we've seen similar tackles to that. Think of Nigel de Jong in the 
World Cup final in 2010. But that's a kick to the head. That is horrific. And you know it's on purpose. You know it's got malice in it because of what happened earlier in the game when he got himself got punched in the face. So that's a, as an act of malice. It's so clear for everyone to see. The commentator is <laughs> stunned. That's probably the worst tackle I've ever seen. Uh, he's not wrong. Um, but there we go. It's the down to nine. This is surely in Chile's hands. Santos, remember, was the man who took a swing at David a few minutes ago. Well, David's got ample revenge in go. the worst possible way. And so we go now into the second half of what is sure to be known as the Battle of Santiago. I think this must be part one of the first times that a, a dirty match was labelled as a battle. We have the 1934 Battle of Highbury, which is an incredible story. This, of course, the Battle of Santiago, full of terrible challenges, punches, flying kicks. There's also, you know, in later, later times now, we have the Battle of Nuremberg in 2006 between Holland and Portugal. We have the Battle of Sanford Bridge a few years ago between Tottenham and Chelsea. Two games which defend, descended into absolute farce. Um... You know, the commentators often say these are terrible things to see, but they are great to watch from a football fan's point of view. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Chile in the ascendancy. Let's see if they can win the game. Navarro. Ramirez. Nice header. One nil. And the stadium's erupted. Every man in the crowd on his feet. Us Not Order. the best camera work. <laughs> oh, we're getting a rugby <laughs> match and a fight. Everything rugby tackle. In there. Referees involved. Well, how can Aston could possibly keep this game going? One they hardly think. With a fracas. That's oh, a good goal. A great goal. Couple of moments of beauty oh, the in the next round. The Italians is now complete. Still time for some more anarchy. Stroking the ball about. See the tackles flying. <laughs> no attempt made to play the ball at all. That was Salvadore. Here we go. And in fact, I think the game is He's over. Just... You see there, Ken... you see there, Ken Ashton's just thought, you know what, I've had enough of this. Final whistle. Is this all over? And just as I pause it, I can see number nine uh, for Chile started a fight with an Italian. So let's watch that. Ken yeah. Ashton on his way to the dressing room. What an incredible match. Absolute anarchy, carnage, but incredible, gripping to watch. I would have loved to watch that back in the back in the day. Um I can't imagine what they would have said, people who actually watched it after David Coleman's introduction, what they would have actually thought of the game. But um yeah. Brilliant to watch uh, some of the worst tackles I've ever seen. I can't believe that Sanchez got away with punching David in the face. It wasn't the end of it. I think uh, Italy were very infuriated by the way that they had gone out. They, I think in Chile, I think the, the Italian embassy came under siege as well or, or under fire. So it's, uh, it's a massive game, massive game for sport and history. It was a World Cup moment. Um, the 1962 World Cup is one of those tournaments which... It's sort of in the middle. You have the 58 World Cup, which was widely heralded as a great tournament when Pele came to the fore. Uh, 1966, the other side, is that one which was broadcast more openly. It was in colour in some places. Um, of course, England winning it and having that sort of 1960s rebirth of football in, in a way. Very much like the 1960s rebirth of pretty much everything in, in terms of culture. Um, but there you go. 62 World Cup is often forgotten about a little bit. Maybe as well because Brazil won it again after 58. So winning it again, maybe not as special as the first time. But it's a tournament which has got some great stories, as we've just seen there. Um, that was great to watch. Hopefully we can watch a few more things. Um, please like and subscribe. If you really like that, please suggest some more videos that we could watch. Um, thanks very much. Goodbye.